Have you ever met a pathological liar? I have. Actually, I had a best friend in high school who was a pathological liar. I'm going to tell you the entire story about this bitch. Oh my god. Because... I feel like I'm at a place in my life where I can finally tell a story because I'm never again going to have relations with this girl. Like, I'm literally just so done with her and her friend group. So, like, let's just spill the tea, why don't we? So, in high school, <laughs> freshman year, no, it was my sophomore year, um, my mother uh, got in contact with this woman on Facebook. This woman on Facebook posted and was like, my daughter just moved to this new school, my school, and she needs friends and somebody to walk to the bus with her. And my mom was like, my daughter will walk to the bus with your daughter. Against my will. <laughs> obviously however at the time i was also low-key in need of friends too so so this girl and her mom came to my house and we met and it was very awkward at first but we we walked to school the next day and the day after that and the day after that and slowly we clicked and we became best friends <laughs> okay so every single day me and this girl walk to the bus stop and home from the bus stop so obviously we're talking a lot exchanging stories and lies if you will i'm pretty sure this girl is the reason why my lie detection skills are as prime as they are this to this day you know i'm she's the reason so you know i can thank you for that i needed someone to help me develop this skill thank you so one time we were walking home and this is like the first time I caught her in like a lie like I obviously didn't call her out on it you know because I was like yeah you're my best friend but um we're walking home and talking about how we want to go to Coachella because Coachella is so cool and she goes yeah I went to Coachella last year mind you I'm like how I was like 16 and she was like 15 right because I was a sophomore and she was a freshman okay <laughs> If you know anything about Coachella, you know that you have to be 18 to go. I didn't know that when she told me, when she was originally, like, telling me. So in the moment, I was like, yeah, wow, that's really cool. So I was, like, believing her in the moment. But then I went home, and I was, like, look at, like looking up stuff and, like, researching Coachella and stuff. And then I saw that you had to be 18 to go, and then that's when I knew that she was bullshitting me, especially because she had told me that she had like met a bunch of celebrities and shit there. And I was like, no fucking way, bro, that's so cool. But then I knew for a fact it was a fucking lie. And from that point on, I was catching her in lies all the time. One time she even did the classic, oh, my my cousin is a this celebrity. I don't remember which one she said. I'm pretty sure she said it was like Shawn Mendes, like some classic bullshit like that. I don't remember, but she pulled that bullshit and I was like, really? Anyways, the thing about pathological liars is that they don't like actively realize that they're lying 90% of the time they're just like doing it you know so they won't remember their lies and sometimes they'll mess up and they'll double up on their lies and they like won't match up to what they've said in the past and that's how i caught her a lot and like she would like she would fuck up you know and i just i was so over it so one day i sent her this long ass paragraph and i was like i'm so over it like you've lied about this and this and this because it started getting to the point where she would like lie about stupid petty shit like in like our friendships and our relationships and like it wouldn't even just be about like silly like oh i went to coachella oh my family members famous like stuff like that it would be like stuff within our friendship now so i was like i can't do this i can't be friends with someone like this so then i block her and move on and we don't have any contact there's not really any beef no drama nothing for years okay and then last year when i went to that fourth of july party at my friend's house i met this girl okay and me and this girl we were super cool whatever awesome me and her started talking snapchatting all the time hung out a couple times one time, one day, she sends me a picture, the Snapchat of her and another girl. Guess who she was with? She was with my ex-high school best friend who is a pathological liar. 
and it had been years, right? So I was like, oh, you know, like, she's an adult now. We're not in high school anymore. Like, maybe she's not a little fucking weirdo anymore. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, that's cool. You're hanging out with her. Like, we used to be friends. And, like, she seemed really cool about it, too. So we all started hanging out a couple times. But then one time, we were, all three of us were hanging out, right? And she starts fucking lying again. But this time, it was like, I was like, you're a bad person, dude. Like, she really thought she was cool for it, too. She had started telling me a story about her birthday party, which I was at. But apparently, this had happened before I got there, right? Okay. <laughs> okay <laughs> she was yeah i was so messed up and i drank like a whole bottle by myself and i was going around pouring shots in everybody's drinks like just straight vodka and everybody's uh like like their seltzer drinks like like and she was saying it so proudly too like what like even if this wasn't a lie it clearly was she's so was so proudly, openly admitting that she was pouring more, out, giving more alcohol to people without their knowledge. Like, that's so not okay. So not okay on so many levels. Like you were getting people more intoxicated against their will and finding that funny. She didn't, she didn't actually do that, but the fact that you're lying about it because you think it's cool and funny is weird as fuck, bro. The entire time she was telling me this story, I was literally just staring at her and I was like, uh-huh, yeah. And she could tell I wasn't like reciprocating it well because I wasn't feeding into it at all. Did they ask me to hang out again after that? No, they didn't. Not the three of us alone, at least, okay? So we have my group of guy friends, right? Who all like to hang out and get drunk together occasionally. And I introduced these two girls to them because my dudes are always like, bring bitches. And I'm like, okay, well, here's some bitches. You can have them, I guess. So they come over one night and they start hanging out with them, okay? Even when I'm not around, which irked me a little bit, but that, that doesn't happen anymore because, because they found out why these girls are so, mm -mm. anyways, <laughs> I go over there to my guy friend's house and I'm talking to him about these two girls. I don't bring it up. He brings it up, right? Because whatever, I don't give a fuck really. But he goes, yeah, I don't fuck with so-and-so anymore. She lied to me. I was like, oh, really? Interesting, what'd she lie about? And he goes, yeah, she told me, she tried to make me feel bad and sympathize for her, and she told me that she had a brother who died in a crazy car accident or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but she told him that she had a brother who died. She does not have a brother. She has never had a brother. And the other girl, those two girls, they're best friends now, right? They don't hang out with any of us anymore for a good reason. The other girl, oh, she's a whole nother story and a fucking half. But we'll save that for another day, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this girl literally tried to invite me to a party the other night. And I was like, no, what are you gonna do? Like, fucking feed me alcohol or like drug me or some shit? I'll pass, you know? Or are you gonna make up some wild story about me and lie to people about it? Like, I'm good. I do not want to be anywhere near you. Sorry, it was a long one, but it's 2am and I'm bored. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you.